Hello Toronto drivers. I'm making this video on a special request from Werner Malaga who left a comment on my parallel parking video. If you would like me to make a video on a particular topic then please leave a comment in the comment box and I will try to make one for you. Now hill parking is a must on a road test and therefore you want to pay very close attention to this and hang on tight till the end of this video because I'm going to share an interesting tip with you. So let's see how we do uphill and downhill parking. When parking on a hill, you need to turn the wheel in such a way that should the brakes disengage due to some reason, the car doesn't go into the oncoming traffic. Now, when you park on the side of the road, there's two situations that could arise. That is, either there is a curb on the road or there is no curb on the road. Therefore, we need to know which way to turn the wheel in both of these situations. So let's first look at how we do downhill parking. Downhill parking with the curb. When there's a curb, you want to turn the wheels of the car towards the curb so that the car rolls into the curb and stops. But if you roll the wheels to the left, which is away from the curb, the car would go into the traffic and that is something you don't want. So downhill with the curb we turn the wheels to the right. Downhill without the curb. When there is no curb, you still want to turn the wheels to the right so that the car goes into the ditch and not into the traffic. So in both the cases in a downhill parking, we turn the wheels to the right. Let's now look at uphill parking. This is a little tricky and often confuses people. Uphill parking with a curb. In this situation, you would turn the wheels away from the curb so that if the car starts rolling back, it hits the curb and stops. To understand this better, let me explain to you what would happen if we turn the wheels to the right. If the wheels are turned to the right, the car would start rolling back and its rear tires would hit the curb. Upon hitting the curb, the car would not be able to move back any further and hence the gravity will pull it into the traffic, thereby causing casualties on the road. Therefore, we must never turn the wheels to the right on an uphill with a curb. Now, what do we do when there is no curb? Hmm. Do just the opposite. Turn the wheels to the right because when the car gets pulled by the gravity, the rear tires, upon not finding a curb, pull the car into the ditch and away from the traffic. So uphill with the curb, we turn the wheels to the left and uphill without the curb, we turn the wheels to the right. So the overall conclusion we draw is that only uphill with the curb is to the left and everything else is to the right. All right, now it's time for the interesting tip I had promised. Mostly on the test, they ask you to do uphill or downhill with a curb. Therefore, to avoid making a mistake, you can remember Dr. Hill. The abbreviation for doctor is DR. So D for down and R for right, which means downhill with the curb is to the right and uphill is to the left. Hope you don't forget Dr. Hill ever now. So if you did enjoy watching my video, please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.